This is a population of squirrels before allopatric speciation forced them to be separated. One day, a Grand Canyon formed in Arizona, splitting the squirrels into two groups. The two populations could no longer interact with one another. There was no sexual interaction between them and therefore no gene flow between the two populations. As time passed, each group separately adapted to their environment. This caused each group to deviate more and more from the original state. Eventually, due to lack of gene flow, adaptation and evolution, the two populations of squirrels were no longer one species but two. They are now known as the kebab squirrel, which lives on the north rim of the Grand Canyon, and the A-bird squirrel, which lives on the south rim of the canyon. I am here today to tell you why the story of these squirrels is important. According to the biological species concept, only organisms from one species can mate with one another, and that it is not possible for two different species to mate with one another and produce fertile offspring. However, I want to test this concept with the two squirrel species. The question I am interested in answering is, will the kebab squirrel and the abert squirrel have the ability to sexually interact with one another when reintroduced? This is not going to be a yes or no answer, as many factors will affect this. What if the squirrels do mate, but the, f- but the female is not fertilized? Or what if they can mate, but they choose not to because of their preference? This is what I want to test and observe. This question has never been asked and it will be very interesting and beneficial to both scientists and the general public to understand if allopatric speciation has changed the sexual preference of females or if it has prevented the squirrels altogether from mating at all with with their sister species. To test this, I will bring one male and one female from either population and leave them together for a period of time while observing how they sexually interact with one another. Will mating occur at all? or will they avoid mating altogether? My research will provide insight to the scientific community on aspects of allopatric speciation that remain unanswered. It will broaden our knowledge on the effects of allopatric speciation, not only on the squirrel studied, but also on all organisms affected by allopatric speciation. This research will develop our understanding on adaptation and evolution. It will also allow us to compare and contrast the true squirrel species allowing us to see how allopatric speciation changes the organism in comparison to their sister species. The general community will also benefit from this research, as they will broaden their knowledge on topics such as evolution, which is still not accepted by many people. By showing the public how incredible adaptation and evolution are, in how they work together in allowing organisms to survive, may cause the public to become more receptive to the ideas of adaptation and evolution. Created using Powtoon.